I think I, oh, that landing decapitated him. Okay, well, we're out at the airfield now. I think we're gonna do just a major mess recap thing because I went to Oshkosh. We filmed a bunch of things. We did all the stuff and things, but I don't think we really actually talked about anything. So I was kind of surfing through the footage and stuff, so I figured, I think we'll just talk about our experience, so this will be a nice recap video. We're just gonna fly the airplane around and talk about what we saw at Oshkosh. Don't kick his head. Okay, well that annoying thing flies way over there. I guess we should probably talk about Oshkosh. So, Oshkosh was pretty much a blast. Uh, I think I have minimal footage of us taking the plane down, right Sam? I hope so. So we took the plane apart, we drove it out on the open trailer for about like eight hours, going 70 mile an hour down the highway. It was pretty sweet because the plane held up really well because uh, it was open. It was just out in the breeze. The tail didn't fall off or anything bad happened. So we got to Oshkosh the first day. We set up the airplane outside, uh, pretty much in the ultralight area. Where's the charger at? You're getting a tip. Good to meet you, Pete. Good to meet you, too. He's Wait, five bucks, Salsi. It's five dollars from Australia. Check that out. <laughs> I have some Canadian money. Actually, here, let's... let's I, no, it's probably worth this less, is Thailand. Is yeah, that's from Thailand. Take that. I don't know what <laughs> So once we were done setting up, we pretty much just wandered around Oshkosh checking out all the aviation people that I knew. We saw Trent Palmer's plane, which is pretty cool. He has like a whole YouTube channel where he's got a kit box and some other fun stuff. I kind of really want one of those now, but that'll probably be something in the future. We also saw Draco too, which is pretty sweet. It's just like this modified Wilga 2000, I believe what it is, but it's really crazy. Sam, you filmed beautiful of that, right? Yeah, I got a bunch okay. of good stuff. What do you think of those tires? Okay, once we were done with that, uh, I did a bunch of talks and stuff. We went on stage and did like a talk in the woods about the airplane. We did it with uh, Elliot Seguin. Seguin? I don't know how you do his last name. But uh, he was the guy that made the Quick E500 with the two turbines on it. It's really cool. You should check that out. And uh, Dick Van... I forgot what else is in his name. But he's basically the guy who designed the RV7, which is pretty sweet. So we did that. I wanted to fly this airplane at Oshkosh. But the problem with that is, hang on, let me let me crash this model here and we'll talk about that. Catch Nailed it! Okay, but I really wanted to fly this airplane at Oshkosh, but I probably couldn't do that for a number of reasons. Mainly, one of the reasons why is because, you know, it is electric and we put the original Hopking motors back on. I did get the sunny skies, but the problem is we had to machine a prop hub and adapter and unfortunately, everyone that I really talked to seemed like it would take a little bit too much time and there wasn't enough like leeway for me to put the motors on there, do all the specific testing required that I needed to do to make this thing safe, and then fly to Oshkosh. So I stuck the original power plant back on, hoping to maybe just hop it down the runway, but I couldn't really make that happen either. I don't know, there was just some kind of logistics thing going on there. But as far as actually flying it around, they probably would let me do it, but I would have to fly the whole pattern. And the problem is that weekend, uh, there was a number of incidences on the runway with other ultralights and light sport aircraft. So if I had to divert, I would have to fly five miles down the highway, land somewhere and I don't think I would make that distance so I decided to err on the side of safety and just not fly the airplane. So that was cool but other than that Oshkosh was a blast. I will definitely have to be there in 2019 hopefully. I think I'm gonna have probably some new airplanes doing... Uh, I think I'll probably have some new airplanes there but I don't know just yet. Oh we should probably go back to the uh, new shop and talk about the ultralights I just bought. New shop! Alright let's get out of here. Okay, let's actually go to the shop. Okay, but yeah, check this out. Look, oh, ten lights back on, Sam. Huh? <laughs> you screwed up. Okay, we yeah, look. I have an Aero Light 103. Uh, you take the camera. But yeah, I really couldn't pass this deal up. I know the audio kind of sucks in here. We're working on it. We just moved to the shop. This will be next week's video. But I picked up this Aero Light 103 off of Facebook. I got it for like four grand-ish or so around there. I basically plan to use it for the test bit for some of the electric stuff, but like come over here. Okay, here are the sunny skies. We gotta get these prop hub adapters made. Now I'm gonna pretty much mount these bad boys out here like that. And then they'll move some air in addition to the actual uh, Rotax power plant. So basically what I'm trying to do with this is test electric systems and all that, and also, you know, I can actually get a little bit of flying done. And in case this two-stroke death trap quits, I can fly back to the ground on my electric power system and at least fly to the airport. I'll probably install BRS on it too, so that'll be cool. I think I'm gonna save the rest of that for another video, but hey, check out the airplane. We're back from Oshkosh with that. Still holding up one piece. Oh, we did actually fly it too, so 
here's the flying montage now that you guys probably actually clicked for. Okay, well that was a blast. So, uh, oh yeah, for all you guys asking for plans about this airplane, bear with me, I'm working on something, maybe eventually release a set of plans, and for the love of God, please stop building airplanes and trying to fly in them. Some of you guys are terrifying me right now, and if, if you really, really are interested in aviation and want to try making your own airplane, just check out some aviation clubs, like check out the EAA forums and all that, learn about some aircraft, and just don't get in something and don't fly it, because I know it looks like it is maybe made out of foam, and it looks pretty cheesy, but there's a lot going on here, and I consulted a lot of professionals before doing any of this stuff, so I really hate to see any of you guys get hurt. So just take like an introductory flight lesson, something like, simple like that. Go to your local airport and find out. Don't build something crazy like this and do it, because this is purely just for entertainment right now. Eventually, I'll work on maybe releasing designs, like I said, but uh, more on that later. But uh, I think that takes care of this video. Oh wait, hang on one second. Uh, I know I was at Oshkosh and I know I missed a few people. To the fan that left me the note in the airplane, I have your name at home, it's on the envelope, I just forgot to bring it with me. Uh, shoot me an email, we'll take care of you. I, I, I hate disappointing people and I hate not being there. So that kind of bothers me and it sucks. So shoot me an email, I'll, we'll, we'll get some stuff and some swag and uh, I think that takes care of it. Right Sam? That's uh, it? That should be it. Okay, let's go home now.